and what's happening YouTube your boy TechTrex back in another video and today we're looking at the Kivo 260 watts V20 stick vacuum here we go First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so you can notify next videos to come. Up tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below on 130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, and let's go ahead and look at what this thing can do. Here we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. Bunch of literature right here. Very nice looking thing. Go. Oh. Look at that. Very nice. Oh. Accessories like these. Oh. Got this inside. Oh. Oh. Here's the vacuum right here. Very nice. Very handy. Very light. It's pretty good. Comes with a bunch of accessories like that. Boom, there you go. Very nice. There you go. Big guy right here. Motorized as well down here. Very nice. And stick like that. Very good. Let's see what's in this box. Some mounting clips of course right there one so that you can mount a bunch of accessories to your wall it's also a power adapter right here very nice give us some screws as well there you go and we're good to go so this is the vacuum right here a lot of features like filter up here there you go sides right there very nice. The back here is where you charge it. With the cord provided in the box. There's a lot of uh, ways you can dismantle this as well. So you can clean the inside of this once it gets all dusty. What we could do here, here I'm going to show you guys one by one. Back here, you'll be able to pull this out and get the battery out. Basically here, you'll be able to buy new batteries if you want. If this gets old, then you'll be able to just swap one of these and you'd be good to go. Boom. It says here rechargeable battery ion. It's 2500 milliamp hour. There you go. Very nice. Let's put that on the side for now. And then on, on top of here, you'll be able to take that off. There you go. This is the, the handle itself. So we're just going to put this on the side for now. There you go. Now you're left with these. Now, on the side right here, there's an unlock and lock button. All you need to do is just twist it to the unlock side, right there, and then pull it out. There you go. Here, this is the actual motor itself. Get rid of that as well, right there. On top here, you can twist that as well, and lift that, so that you can clean the filter in here very nice i like how it has all that features right so that you can literally uh clean it all there you go good to go you can just put that on the side for now up here you get a uh, another filter which you can take off by doing that and then you can pull this out like this and then you'll be able to get rid of inside and then you can clean this out no problem at all you can clean this out as well. It's very nice. Yeah, just wash it with water, except the battery, of course, and the motor. You just grab the filter from the from top of here, clean this out, and good to go. To put it back is real easy. So same way, you're doing this, make sure to align everything out before you toss everything in. Don't forget the filter. There you go. Bring this in, put it on the unlock side. There you go. And then toss it in 
unlock. Pretty good. Take this and make sure you put the bottom first and then the top. There you go. And then good to go. The battery. And there you go. Good to go. It's also the uh, deep clean uh, motor vacuum. The bottom part where you attach it on your vacuum right here. Basically, this you'll be able to dismantle as well by clicking a button on the side, like so. Boom. And then you'll be able to pull this up and pull this out. Clean this out as you may. Clean your brush and you're good to go. And to put it back, all you need to do is attach this side right here first. How you pulled it out back in clip it on and that's it really easy it also comes with a wall mount like this where you can put all the accessories that you want by clipping it like that and then grabbing the other one and clipping it like so so we mounted the mounting plate right here so that we can hook on our vacuum basically what i use is i uh, use a stud finder to find the studs and then i screw this on yeah, I just screw it on right to the stud. It's pretty strong. It's not going anywhere. There you go. And then when you're good to go, you can go ahead and take your vacuum, your cable vacuum, and put it on there. There you go. And it will get hooked on. Very nice. And then there's two different spots here where we can mount more stuff. So I mounted the cord like this so that I can charge it on the back. Very nice. And then it's just gonna get rerouted on the bottom and to the plug. There you go. And there you go. Very nice. Now, one of the bad features of the Dyson is that you have to hold the trigger to keep it on. This one is just a toggle. So when you click it once, as you can see there, it'll turn on. And if you want to turn it off, just click it again. There's three options as well for speed. There's the high speed, low speed, and medium. So that's pretty cool. That's one, one of the things that the Dyson doesn't have. I have the V6 of the Dyson, and that's one of the features that I don't have on the Dyson. I find this vacuum not so loud as well, so I like that. I'm going to let you guys listen to it. What do you guys think of that? Not bad, right? And now we're gonna go ahead and do the obnoxious hairs and dust at home. We're gonna try to vacuum it and see if the keyboard is able to do it. I'm gonna show you how well it does. So here we go. We are using the high uh, option here and it does do a good job. The bigger dust balls are actually getting pushed on the front. So what I recommend doing is just running through it uh, the second time or the third time. But actually the first try did pretty well already so you don't have to do as much. Especially for most homes that doesn't really have uh, extra fur balls on the side. It's not very thick uh, for normal usage. It actually does pretty well. No, that was easy, right? With the fur balls. How about chips? Uh, can it pick up uh, bigger pieces like these? Now, this is a tough one, but hopefully it'll be able to do it. Here we go. So if you've heard it correctly, I was doing a slow, medium, and a fast on the speed there just to show you guys how well it does with the chips. So basically, it does pretty well. It is able to pick it up for the most part. It 
does have a little bit of trouble on the bigger pieces but like i said you're not gonna have like uh, overly uh, dirty place like this if you do i recommend a bigger vacuum anyway don't use a stick vacuum for that but for everyday normal use this is amazing it, it does pretty well and it has a swivel like this like the head of the vacuum actually does swivel pretty well pretty smoothly so that's a lot of perks that I don't have before on my Dyson V6. And yeah, Kivo, I think, would take the, the win on this one. Now, there is another attachment that is also motorized that, it, that came in the box. And this is the one that you use for carpet and maybe actually really useful for stairs. As you can see here, we're just testing it out uh, using stairs and I'm not having any problems. I'm even recording at the same time while i'm vacuuming and i find it really well uh, done because of how small it is and how compact it is it's very lightweight as well for those of you who doesn't want to uh, haul up a big vacuum with you and you'll be able to just uh, clean up your uh, staircase without any problems just like this the Kivo V20 stick vacuum is really good as well on carpets, different floorings like laminate, uh, wood flooring and whatnot. It doesn't scratch it at all. So I really can recommend this for most families who just want one vacuum for the whole house and don't want to like keep switching vacuums all the time and you don't want to take up too much space on your storage. This you'll be able to just hang it on the wall and you'll be done with it and it's not big at all, it's not bulky, so that's pretty good. Once you're done vacuuming, all you need to do is click that one button and then it'll open the cap on the bottom and then it'll just splash all your dirt into the trash can, no problem at all. And that's it. To put it back, just as easy as uh, putting the lid back, slapping it on, that's it. And that's it for today guys, thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on your choice on a stick vacuum. I definitely recommend this one because there's so many functions and so many attachments that it could have. And I just like how how powerful it is as well and how, how, how long the battery lasts. If you wanna get one of these, I'll link this down below. Go ahead and check that out. It is an affiliate link, so it does help out the channel a lot if you use that link to buy this product. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and peace out.